It's the most wonderful time of the year. Time for shopping. <laughs> Just kidding. Hi everyone, welcome here. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you for coming back and watching another video. So in today's video, I wanna talk about how to survive Black Friday as a minimalist. Here's the thing. I honestly don't feel like Black Friday is inherently evil. I think as a minimalist, people expect me to be against Black Friday and against the consumerism and consumption that comes with it. And I am, the mindless consumerism, the overconsumption, that's all definitely something that I don't support. But I do think that if you approach Black Friday in a mindful way and if you shop with intention, you can actually use it to your advantage. So in today's video, I want to talk about how to prepare yourself for Black Friday. If you are going to shop, some tips for shopping with intention. And third, if you decide to opt out of Black Friday, some tips to do that as well. All right, with all that said, let's dive in. All right, to start, let's talk about how to prepare yourself if you are going to shop on Black Friday. To me, I think the best thing we can do is go in as educated consumers. So understanding some of the tactics that brands will use in order to get you to shop more. So one of the tactics that brands rely on is something called the target effect. So the idea that if you come into the store or even if you go into an online store, the hope that you will leave with more than you were intending. So in many cases, the entire shopping experience is gonna be designed around having you put more things in your cart. And it's called the target effect because there was some quote by the CEO of Target, and I'll put it up on the screen because I can't remember it verbatim, something to the effect of like, the scariest thing is having a consumer come in the store and only leave with the item that they were intending to purchase. So just knowing that that's the intention of a lot of brands and keeping that in the back of your head can help you avoid it when you actually do go to shop. So another tactic that brands use is essentially scarcity or FOMO. Fear that you're gonna miss out on something if you don't act immediately. So around Black Friday, you'll see a lot of like, for a limited time only, or only a few left. So almost igniting in you that fear of like, if I don't get it now, I'm never gonna get it at this price. So again, just going into your shopping experience, knowing like this brand is trying to do this can help you resist it. And the third thing to remember as you prepare to shop on Black Friday is it's not about you. There's honestly probably not a brand out there that is thinking about you and what's best for you as a consumer on Black Friday. I've worked in marketing for a very long time. I've worked for a lot of retail brands and I will tell you Black Friday is all about meeting the bottom line for the year. It's the biggest shopping day, a huge amount of profits come in on that day, and that is what every retailer is looking at. So you may look at a sale and be like, this is such an awesome deal for me. Just remember, it's actually an awesome deal for the brand. What they're trying to do is push more product. Okay, so once you kind of have yourself in the right mindset and you feel fully educated around what Black Friday is and how it benefits retailers, let's talk about how to shop with intention on Black Friday. My first tip is to know ahead of time exactly what you want to purchase on Black Friday. And I don't just mean like the idea of the thing, but be super specific about exactly what you want. So say for instance, you want to buy some headphones. So instead of just saying to yourself, I want to find some headphones on Black Friday, know all of the specifications about the headphones that you are willing to spend your money on. So are they wireless? Are they earbuds or do they go over your ears? What's the charging capability of them? What's the sound quality? Really be specific about what it is you want so you don't find yourself purchasing something just because it's on sale. If you happen to find exactly what you want, and it also happens to be on Black Friday sale, that's the time when I feel like it's advantageous to actually purchase on Black Friday. So by preparing yourself with all of the details around whatever it is you wanna purchase, that will help you decide if it's a good time to purchase or not. The second piece is to know your budget. I feel like the holidays is a time where a lot of people fall into the trap of overspending. I just read a statistic recently that said the average American has $15,000 of credit card debt. And I feel like what's so troublesome about Black Friday is that we feel like as consumers, if we're buying it for a gift or if we're buying it on super sale, it's kind of worth it to go into debt. So before you make any purchase, even if it's on super sale, just make sure you understand what your budget is and if you can actually afford to pay 
pay for it. And what I mean by afford it is if you're gonna pay for it on a credit card, that you can then pay that off the credit card in your next payment cycle. My next tip is to continue to shop with intention. I think a lot of people, myself included, when we think about Black Friday, we think about big box stores. We think about Walmart and Target and Best Buy, but small local retailers and small sustainable retailers also have Black Friday sales. You can continue or even start shopping sustainably on Black Friday. Sustainable purchases are not immune to Black Friday sales. And this is one of the reasons why I'm really not against shopping on Black Friday. It's a great time to support sustainable retailers. It's a great time to support local retailers that you might have already planned a purchase for, but now it's just the added bonus of getting it on sale. So if you are gonna shop on Black Friday, I think the best thing you can do is shop with as much intention and mindfulness as you would the rest of the year. And I did just recently make a video about shopping as a minimalist and shopping with intention. So I will link that down below and up in the corner. So if you want a couple more tips on how to shop mindfully. All right, so to wrap this video up, I did want to talk a little bit about if you could decide to opt out from Black Friday. I think this is a valid option as well. While I do think that there are ways to shop sustainably and mindfully during Black Friday, I completely understand the mindset of wanting to opt out of it completely. There are a lot of retailers that I really respect that opt out of Black Friday as a brand. And I think we can make the same decision as a consumer as well. Here's what I'll say though, if you're going to opt out of Black Friday, my suggestion would be to opt out completely. And what I mean by that is spend a day away from any shops and away from your phone. Even if you don't plan to step foot in a store on Black Friday or click purchase on anything online on Black Friday, if you're scrolling social media on your phone and you are served up an ad from a retailer on Black Friday, or if you open an email from a retailer on Black Friday, your eyes on their ads is a contribution to what they are gonna consider success. So if you really do not wanna be a part of Black Friday at all, my suggestion would be to spend the day completely off your phone and not step foot in a store. So here's my bottom line. As a minimalist, I would say treat Black Friday as any other day. You might have the opportunity to get a really good deal on something you're already planning on purchasing. Shop with intention, shop with mindfulness, support brands who are good for the earth and good for humans. And if you go on with that mindset, it's just a day to maybe get a great deal. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. I am planning a lot more content around the holidays and gift giving and sustainability around the holidays. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you like this video so I know to make that content moving forward. I put out new videos every week, so I will see you next Tuesday. Bye everyone. Wonderful time of the year. Murphy is erecting a fence outside and it is quite noisy. What's wrong with the deal? Damn these bracelets. Hi. How's the fence going? It's fencing. Sorry. That's okay. I start over. Can I have a gift? Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome here. Ah, oh, man, nose is itchy. Itchy nose. That's too many words. Let's start over. Ooh, we are having a shaky start. Oh my god, it's so loud. Oh my butt. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so loud.